Everywhere you look around Tehran, there are election posters. It now appears to be a straight fight between President Hassan Rouhani and challenger Ibrahim Raisi, although two other minor candidates are still left in the race. They've all been vetted by Iran's Guardian Council, so they're acceptable to Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. But there are important differences between the two frontrunners. Rouhani is seen as a moderate who is open to more reforms. His major success has been the nuclear deal that saw the partial lifting of international sanctions on Iran. Raisi, on the other hand, is a conservative and known to be close to Iran's hardline revolutionary guard forces. And although he hasn't said that he's scrapped the nuclear deal, he says that Rouhani has given up too much for too little and is too pro-West. The biggest difference between both candidates is that Rouhani is pro-Western and his views are close to the United States and Europe. But Raisi is putting Iran first. Both candidates went on the attack in televised debates last week. Rouhani accused Raisi of abusing religion for power, while Raisi targeted Rouhani with corruption accusations. So how has this played out with the voters? In Tehran's Tejrish Bazaar, they appear to be leaning towards Rouhani. Because I love what he has achieved so far, and to be able to see his new achievements, I will vote for Rouhani. We should vote if we want Rouhani to continue what he has been able to do so far. The Iranian real has gained more value since he came to power. But some Raisi supporters did put across their point of view. I will vote for Raisi as he is known to be more religious than the other candidates. Some say that he killed people in the past. What else should he have done? He was the chief prosecutor. It was his job to punish the terrorists. Rouhani or Raisi? That's the decision Iranians will likely be making on Friday. Now, of course, the supreme leader of Iran, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, does have the final say in all state matters. But for many of the Iranians we've spoken to, this vote is still important. Abu Bakr al-Shamahi, CRT World, Tehran.